my name is Kanae Gibbs and I am the PAGA reporter and I am here with PAGA Evan Skeen. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> so, how do you feel the 2016 season went? I think it went well. I think that everyone had tons of fun. I'm glad that there were three different people who won, so it wasn't torn up by one person, and I'm glad that the uh, P-Cup showed everyone improved at the end of the year. I just wish I was one of the winners of uh, the B-Cup. Okay, how many members and who do you feel the closest to? The closest to? I'd probably have to go with Abigail. Um, <laughs> this is an upset. <laughs> If you were to form alliance in the PAGA, who would be the members? I've heard um, the last person speak, and it seemed like she was going for like a power team. Um, my alliance would be some, uh, probably like four members, including myself, so three other members, who I think, given if we, if we got all together, we could win a peacock and be, you know, not too overbearing. Um, I'd have to say Abigail. Michael Warren Joseph Koha the third. And Trevor. And if I had to go with a fourth and make it a five, I would go with Palmer Danesco. Courses you played on last year, which was your favorite? My favorite, I won at the PAGA championship, but we didn't really get to, you know, play the whole course out. So I'd like to see that. And since I didn't see the whole course, and I just dominated on nine holes, I could. Uh, I couldn't say that because I just played the nine holes. I wasn't a big fan of a manion. No, I, my guess is that one's not even going to get voted in for next year. Um, I'm excited for the two new courses that are going to give us a challenge. I like the Wilkes-Barre uh, Municipal, so I'm guessing anyone watching this knows how I voted in the four seasons. Well, I'm going to have to say my favorite was uh, Wilkes-Barre Municipal. However, I do think... I should do the best at um, Four Seasons because that is where I am going to be practicing the most for the upcoming season. Okay, which trophy do you want to win the most? Um, that's a tough one. I'm also I, I'm gonna have to say the P or just the regular jar because it's a new it's a new one. I want to be the first to win it. Um, it'd be nice to re win another. Pack a championship to defend and be successful. Maybe I'll be the first to do that. But I also want to get closer to my career Grand Slam and win one of each. So the Bastards would be nice. The PEA jar would be nice. But I'm going to say right now, my, the one I'm looking forward to the most would be the just the jar. Tournament are you most excited for 2017? I'm gonna go with the uh, jar because first off, it's gonna be the only two day tournament. Last time I did a two day tournament, I won. Claire wants me to win, but it seems like she also wants to go. So I'll give her a little rock. <laughs> what part of your game do you feel is the best? The best? I'm gonna go with my driving. I'm gonna go with my driving. And what part of the, your game do you feel needs the most work to help you win? I feel like everything needs some work and to be consistent because the consistency is key in golf and to, uh, to win I'm gonna be, need to be more consistent in every aspect. But if I had to pick one, I would have to say, my my irons. I think I'm gonna give this little one 
to the videotaper. And maybe she'll be happier with her. If you are behind three strokes going into the second day of the Ajar, what will you be thinking? I tried not to do what Trevor did in the practice rounds at the beginning, where he choked when he was up. I mean, when I'm down. Also, Trevor, I'm not going to be a pessimist, and I want to think optimistically, know that I could still win it. Three strokes is a lot. They could mess up. I could do great. There's many different things I could do to, to claim the victory. So be, uh, being optimistic and really uh, thinking straight. Not letting anybody get in my head during the time because PHR is going to be great for that because we're all going to be in one house competing and talking smack to each other up into the tournament. And I'm sure the day going into the tournament, whoever's in the lead is going to be making it known that they're in the lead. And what club is your favorite? My favorite club? I would think the driver, but I'm not going to say that because I, first off, mine has a dent, so I don't, I don't want to go with that one. Um, I'm going to say it was the six for the longest time. Um, so I'm going to say my six. I feel like I hit that the best. <laughs> And what do you think will be the top at the end of the 2017? I, I'm going to go with the obvious and say Mac Michael Kempenny because he was, came off on a great start this year. No one was as prepared as he was going into the first tournament because he won that by a landslide, but by the end of the year, don't know if he would uh, even won it with the score he had, uh, especially after seeing Trevor and Palmer in our practice round recently. That, that really, uh, Trevor probably, what Trevor's score on that would have probably beat his, and Palmer's would have been close, mine would have been close, so it'd be much closer. So I'm hoping that we all get closer to Mike, but he's, he's coming back from that injury, and I know he's gonna work it hard, so. Even if he doesn't successfully uh, defend his first, the Bachelors, I think that he's definitely going to make one or two more additions to his mantle and get closer to the career Grand Slam. Who do you think will be the most surprising or rising star? Uh, there's, there's just so many. I think Michael Warren, Joseph Kohut the third. I think Abigail May Gibbs. I mm -hmm. think that people may not, not even in the lead just yet, like, we don't even know. I know Palmer's uh, a good golfer. I know he'll be in the top, so people probably, we don't know about him, and same with Wesley Spaulding and Philip Campetti. We haven't seen how they golf, so. But I'm gonna go with those two for the. Who is someone nobody is talking about that has a good chance at winning their first major? First major, okay. So, three people I, I gotta rule out. Myself, Michael, and Harry. So, I mean, Trevor. Trevor has a really good chance of winning his first major, but so does um, Abigail and Michael. And Michael Cole, Joseph. Michael Warren, Joseph Cole, third. Um, and Palmer has a good chance, but I think that coming into the league, people are thinking him. I know Trevor's up there, but don't think many people are actually thinking of him. And Abigail and Michael Cole are, are going to practice well a lot. I know. Until it gets cold here, we're going to try uh, to go out golfing a little bit more. And I think uh, towards next year, around April, we're going to try to get out a lot before. So to be more mid-season come the first tournament than we were. So I'm going to say there's a lot of people, a lot of people have a very good chance to win. What is your goal for, what is your goal for 2017 PAG? My goal would be to win another major whether any one of them, and to lead my team to victory in the Cup. Would you prefer par three, four, or five? I'd have to go with a four, because three, it might be okay to get a par, but again, I'm not, I wasn't consistent at all during, only one day was I really consistent. That was the first day of the Packet Championship. 
and I wasn't getting close for, for the pars, but I feel like in a par four, I'm, I could get really close to uh, the hole in the first drive or at least get onto the green and two and make a birdie shot or get par uh, easier on a par four. Um, but yeah, so I'm looking forward to the 2017 season. Can't wait to see how everyone does. Um, yeah, I just can't wait. Can't wait. Um, have you ever thought about joining the PAGA or just are you sticking to the reporting for right now? Because there is the LPAGA and uh, that's going to be Maybe we could do a different interview. Developmental. So, all right. It was, it was a pleasure uh, being interviewed. <laughs>